Hello, so today I'm gonna to show you how to draw a flower inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe and her many of her flower paintings. So a lot of her paintings of flowers were very close up. They were big and enlarged and took up most of the canvas. So when I draw this flower, it's going to be very big and take up most of the paper. So I wanna start with what we, we would call an organic shape. It's just kind of this wiggle and you bring it together. So it's not quite a circle. It doesn't have any definite shape. Like you wouldn't say it's a circle or a triangle or a rectangle or anything like that. It's just kind of its own blob. So it actually becomes, we call that an organic shape. So then using some wiggly lines, I'm gonna bring those lines towards my blob. And they can wiggle because that's what's gonna make my flower look unique. And then at the end of these lines, notice I left some room. I want to go ahead and connect them to create my flower petals. This is just one way to do it. You don't have to do it this way. There are many ways to create a flower. So this just creates, um, this very organic abstract flower and you can even add some dots in the center because a lot of flowers have seeds and this will help create that um, illusion that there's seeds in the center that helps uh, define your center. So for this flower I'm just going to show you some simple tricks I don't want to make this too hard or challenging because of the age group that this project is geared towards. So using yellow, you want to color your center. And remember, if you color in those little circular motions, that's a great way of staying inside the lines. If you want, you can even add some orange to the center just to help it stand out more. And then we're gonna use just a little bit of pink. And I'm gonna use this pink and color into my flower just a little bit. So I'm actually gonna leave the flower white just to save on some time, but show you how I'm coloring some of that pink up into the petal and making sure that I follow the direction of the petal when I color. So if my petal is going this way, I wanna make sure I'm coloring in that direction. And it's okay that it's a little bit choppy, these lines, because that's just like creating that illusion that you know the flower is folding in and we have just a little bit of this color. So of course you can color your flower any way you want. You could color the whole flower one color, then go back with a darker color and do this trick. But make sure that when you color, you color the direction of the petal. So the petal is going this way, you wanna color that way. If it's going this way, you wanna keep your lines going that way. Uh, if you want, you can even add just a little bit of pink on the ends. Again, I'm making sure that I'm coloring in that direction. And remember, there's many ways to create a flower. This is just one way that I'm showing you. You don't have to make your flower this big either. I just wanted to show you how Georgia O'Keeffe might make her flower. So to make my flower stand out more, I'm going to go ahead and color around. I only have a little bit of background showing, but I wanna go ahead and color that background so that my flower stands out a little bit more. So 
I try to keep my crown coloring in the same direction, but occasionally I do need to change directions to fit in those smaller spaces. I'm just going to turn my paper so that I can get this side colored. And that might be actually something you want to do when you color your petals is turn your paper so that you can make it easier for you to get change directions. is my Georgia O'Keeffe flower and you can see it was really just using these wiggly lines to create an organic shape in the middle and wiggly lines or wavy lines to create my petals connecting those lines with a wavy line and then adding some color so really you're using a lot of wavy wiggly lines to make your flower um, because flowers are considered an organic shape they're part of nature so, you know, when you create your flower, you can choose any colors you want. You don't have to use wiggly lines. You don't have to use a wiggly center. This is just one way I wanted to show you to create a flower inspired by some of Georgia O'Keeffe's flowers. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you're doing well. Take care. Bye.